Welcome back students. This question was asked in GATE 2009 exam. They have given you these four type of instructions and this tabular information regarding how many clock cycles each stage requires with respect to these four instructions. Okay. And first of all, let's see the statement. Consider a four stage pipeline processor the number of cycles needed by the four instructions i1, i2, i3, i4 in stages s1, s2, s3, s4 are shown below. What is the number of cycles needed to execute the following loop for i is equal to 1 to 2, i1, i2, i3, i4. Okay. So just have a look at the statement. I'll display the picture again. Okay, you just have a look at the program that is to be executed. It is for i is equal to 1 to 2. That means so this is the program that they have written in the question. For i is equal to 1 to 2 kind of means repeat two times. Okay. What has to be repeated? This body of loop. That means i1, i2, i3, i4. Again, you repeat this. That means these four instructions are executed twice. In total, there are eight instructions. That means i1, i2, i3, i4. Then you start again. That means i1, i2, i3, i4 is repeated again. Now let's try to execute these instructions. Instruction number one requires two clock cycles in S1 stage. That means first two clock cycles will be S1 and S1. Then the remaining three stages require one clock each. So this is instruction number I1. Now let's try to execute the second instruction which is I2. You cannot execute S1 here because S1 is already being used by instruction 1 in this clock cycle. Okay. So we'll start S1 from here. It requires only one clock cycle of S1. Then it requires three clock cycles of S2. Okay. 3 clock cycles of S2 and then S3 and S4 are 2 to each. So this is S3. Just let me draw this diagram. So 1 clock cycle of S1, 3 of S2 followed by S3 and S4, two to each, two S3s, two S4s. Okay, now let's see this instruction I3. It requires two clock cycles of S1 followed by one S2 and one S3. Two clock cycles of S1 followed by S2, sorry, this one is going to be a stall. What I have done is, you cannot execute S1 here because S1 is already being used by instruction 2 in this clock cycle. Okay. So, you need to start S1 from here. Two S1s, two cycles of S1, then one cycle of S2. But it cannot be done here because S2 hardware of S2 is already being used by instruction 2. That's the reason I wrote S2 here. Similarly, S3 will be written here. Then you need three clock cycles for the stage S4. This is again going to be stalled because S4 is already written here. Now three clock cycles of S4. 
and with this instruction number three is also completed now let's try instruction number four one s1 then s2 s3 s4 each of them require two two clock cycles one s1 will be started from here because both of these are s1s so we cannot write s1 here and then s2 can't be written here because of this s2 okay one s1 two s2s are done then we need to write two s3s two s3s and then two s4s now s4 cannot be written here that means s4 is going to come here like this okay then again we need to start from instruction number i1 now most of the books what they are doing is they just calculate the number of cycles required till here and multiply it by two that's a very big mistake it's a blunder a very famous book uh, it has given the answer in the similar way it's wrong and a few people on online forums are also doing such things but that's wrong i'll also tell you the reason why it's wrong first let's discuss what they are saying so what some people are doing is they say i1 to i4 requires 15 clock cycles and repeating this twice will require 30 clock cycles 15 into 2 that's wrong because by doing so what you are doing is you are copying this entire part as it is what i'm saying is you just pick this much part as it is and place it here okay and what's the mistake just try to think what's going wrong this this part is never used okay that's the reason that method won't work because essentially they are wasting all these clock cycles which is not true because once the processor execute executes it it won't know that this is being repeated or whatsoever it will just try to fetch the next instruction whatever it is it's going to execute it here only okay so don't make that mistake now we need to execute i1 again i1 is s1 s1 so s1 can't be written here because of this <clears throat> it can't also be written here because of this <clears throat> yeah here we can write s1 it is s1 s1 s2 s3 s4 like this then instruction number i2 requires s1 s2 s2 s1 s2 s2 s1 sorry three times s2 yeah then it requires two s3 and two s4 okay let me just check this much once because i don't want to make any mistakes okay i think that's correct okay let's move ahead with i3 instruction number three s1 can't be placed here neither it can be placed here nor here that means s1 is going to come here and instruction three needs two s1 followed by s2 s3 and three s4s two s1 followed by s2 s3 and three s fours like this okay then let's see instruction number i4 
I4 requires one S1. See, none of these four can be used by instruction four to execute S1 or to use hardware S1 because hardware of S1 is being used by instruction I1 here, by instruction I2 here, by instruction I3 here and here. So all of these four clock cycles have already been using this hardware S1. So this instruction cannot use it. Now you need to place S1 in clock cycle number 12. So it is S1, sorry, I4 is S1, 2 times S2, 2 times S3, 2 times S4, okay. Yeah, this is your answer. Let's try to count how many clocks are required. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. These are 23 clocks. So your answer to this question is 23. Please don't write 30 as answer to such questions. I've already discussed it. What's the mistake here? In those methods, what they're doing is, they are not using these many clock cycles. This part, yeah, from here to here, these clock cycles are being wasted. So that is a big blunder. Don't do, uh, do such things. Next point is don't use so, uh, any shortcuts in these, uh, these kind of questions because there's a high chance of making mistake in such questions because of many reasons. First one, this question is lengthy. Okay, so you might just uh, draw these lines like here and there and create a mess. And even if do, you have uh, done most of the things correct, you will make a mistake while counting the number of clocks. If the lines are messy, this diagram is not clear. So don't do such things. And also just keep in mind that this diagram is going to require some space. So in real exam, take care of it. Use a new page for such questions. Obviously it's visible from the options also. The options are like 16, 23, 28, 30. So possibly, this could even take 30 clock cycles because 30 is there in options. So keep that in mind.